All right, it's time to find out what we've all been wondering. What happens when you put spray foam in a golf shaft? Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So. I've already done a video where I put some of this spray foam inside a driver head to see what kind of change that would make. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link down in the description below. But we're going back to it again, and this time we're gonna be putting it inside the golf shaft to see if we can't make a steel shaft feel a little bit more like graphite. So that's kind of the idea. Will this spray foam reduce some of that vibration and give us a softer feeling hit versus just the plain steel shaft. So we're gonna hit a few balls with this, see what it kind of feels like as a baseline. I'm also gonna take a couple measurements and then we're gonna add some foam, let it sit a little bit and then repeat everything and see if this is something maybe you might wanna try putting spray foam down inside your iron shafts. Okay, first off, let's get a couple measurements. We're gonna take a static and a swing weight measurement. The static weight on this golf club, 438 grams and the swing weight, D2. Now we're gonna be using this Tacoma 301 muscle back eight iron head, and I've got a KBS S taper or money taper, 120 gram shaft. Uh, so that's gonna be what we are using throughout the test. We're just gonna hit four or five balls again. I wanna hit, hopefully hit a couple decent ones right in the middle and then try and kind of miss hit a couple and see if I can't get a little more, a little more feedback. Well, that one will have some feedback. <laughs> so that was both low and on the toe. Definitely felt it. And that was it pretty much right in the center and felt really good. That was out on the toe. Still didn't feel that bad, but I could definitely tell it was out on the toe. That was another good one hit right in the middle. Okay, a few balls. The good ones felt really good. The bad ones, you definitely know where you're hitting it on the face. Still doesn't feel terrible, but especially on that very first one, it was both low and on the toe, and that gave me a good bit of feedback. So. We're gonna pop this grip off. We're gonna take it off with air and then put it right back on afterwards so everything else will stay the same. But let's, uh, let's foam it up. Okay, so it's been about an hour to let the foam kind of do its thing, harden, and uh, went ahead, put the grip back on, and now let's go ahead and check the weight measurements that we did again. So static weight and swing weight. Static weight, we were at 438 grams, and we are now with the foam at 439 grams. And the swing weight, we were basically right at D2, and now we are at, well, just under D2, call it D1.5. So very little change to this golf club as far as the weight, as far as the balance of it, almost, almost nothing really. The big question is gonna be, do I notice any difference actually hitting golf balls with it? That was definitely way out on the toe. Was again out on the toe. Let's see if I can catch one a little bit lower. Doesn't feel bad. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if it's in my head and I feel like there's a little difference or if there actually is a little difference. Let's hit a couple more.
That one was pretty far out on the toe and down towards the bottom of the club head. I feel like the vibration is maybe just a little bit shorter, if that makes sense. Like from the moment that you feel the vibration to when it no longer is registering, I feel like it's maybe just a little bit more condensed with the foam in here versus when I hit it before and it kind of lingered a little bit more. I'm gonna see if I can figure this out a little bit easier. Last thing I'm gonna do here, I've got this same 301 muscle back head. It's a seven iron, but same golf club, same shaft, just in a seven iron, same grip basically. I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times and see if I'm actually actually feeling what I think I'm feeling or if they end up feeling about the same. So I'm gonna hit a couple with the seven iron. All right, I'm gonna switch. Oh, that was hit terrible. That was hit really well. I'm gonna switch one more time. Switch one more time. All right, again, I can't say for certain whether it's actually in my hands or if it's in my head, but I do feel like this eight iron with the foam up in the shaft here, it does shorten the vibration. So the sensation is a little bit quicker in this eight iron when I compare it to both when I, when I was thinking about back to when I hit this club before and when I've hit now the seven iron in the same basic setup, I feel like this is maybe just a little bit quicker with the vibrations. All right, so is this a good idea? Is this something I would try? Maybe, honestly, I would say, you know, it's not an expensive experiment to get a can of spray foam and spray it down into some steel shafts if you're trying to reduce the vibration a little bit, see what happens. I don't really, uh, see a lot of downside to it other than I don't know how you would remove the foam once you put it in there So it's pretty permanent. I'm guessing But that being said having now hit a bunch of balls with it I'm not noticing any real downside to having it in there. So kind of you know, why not? Hey, if you enjoyed this video Make sure you go down below like comment subscribe to the channel Make sure you hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos if you're interested in a fitting in a repair in a custom build you can contact me at Elite Fit Golf and I'll see you on the next video.